Welcome to the last video in our video series. This video will be on digestion and ligation. Restriction enzyme digestion, or simply digestion, involves using restriction enzymes in order to cut into certain spots on a DNA molecule. Restriction enzymes, which are also called restriction endonucleases, have their own specific cutting sites within the nucleotide sequence, which ensures that all DNA molecules in a mix will most likely have been cut at the exact same location throughout. This method is extremely powerful because numerous commercially available restriction enzymes have been synthesized, thus allowing researchers to cut at extremely specific places. An example of a restriction enzyme is SFI1. Digestion consists of adding the desired restriction enzymes to a molecule of DNA and the required buffers and letting the mixture incubate for around 4 hours. Afterwards, a gel electrophoresis on the digested DNA pieces can be performed in order to characterize them. If a certain band is desired from the gel electrophoresis, gel purification can be performed. Ligation involves ligating a certain piece of DNA into another piece of DNA after both of the pieces have been cut by restriction enzymes. Ligation is performed by making a mix of the two pieces of DNA that need to be ligated together, along with the DNA ligase and ligase buffer. DNA ligase is the enzyme that allows ligation to occur. The end product of ligation, the insertion of these vectors into the host organism, and allowing for the replication of these vectors would be the completion of DNA or molecular cloning. An example of digestion and ligation can be seen in this illustration. With our restriction sites, which is SFI1 and NOT1. As you can see, the two plasmids have restriction sites, SFI1 and NOT1 at these spots. We incubate both of these with the restriction enzymes SFI1 and NOT1. We run the digested products through a gel, which will separate the digested products. And for the vector, we can cut out the band that did not travel as much, which is the vector with the sequences between SFI1 and NOT1, cut out. For the plasmid, after running the digested product through the gel, we can cut out the band that traveled further, which is the sequence between SFI1 and NOT1 that was cut out from the rest of the plasmid. We ligate these two products together, thereby, thereby inserting our desired gene sequence from one plasmid into a vector.